Hi, it's Lady Lex UK, and this is Dreams Create for October 2022. For this theme, I've picked Inside the Haunted House. Well, it is spooky season after all. This is an exclusive collection, only available to people that view my channel, and the link to it is in the description below. You can't get to it inside Dreams because it is an unlisted collection. So let's have a look and see what I've chosen. Our first game is Creeper by Creme Friche. Uh, this is your typical horror where you're wandering around uh, a dark house, turning on lights and finding things moving around and strange noises and jump scares and the like. Um, it's a game that was released in 2020 and I missed it the first time around. I've only come across this through looking at the MM picks. So I hope this is a game that you'll enjoy. Our next game is The Babysitter by The Night Surgeon. This is inspired by uh, traditional teenage horror movies where teenagers are victimised by stalkers and serial killers. In this game you play as a 20 year old babysitter and things start off stra rather strange and just get weirder and weirder as the time goes on. Don't Go in the House, The Witch is part of a series of games by fishies. Uh, in these games you're wandering around in the dark in a spooky house and this one may or may not be haunted by a vengeful witch. The game comes in two separate modes, story and survival. So you can play the game with a, an adventure story as a traditional horror game or you can try and last the night without the witch getting you. The next game is The Eternity House by Handsome Fiend. Uh, this was launched uh, the first few weeks of uh, Dreams launch back in February 2020 and is a really strange, surreal horror with lots of looping rooms and an amazing twist at the end. It also has some great okay. voiceover work, Assuming so well worth a view. Reliable, Josh was last seen going into a house out in a place called Perdition Row. Hmm. I guess I better get over there and check things out. This better not turn out to be a wild goose chase. I could be in bed right now. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I'd probably just be at home getting drunk. Huh? Who reads newspapers anymore? Bit of change of pace for our fifth game. This is Ed Toast and the Butter Ghouls by P. Dog Jr. Uh, this is a uh, shooter game, a survival game, where you play as um, sort of Rambo as a piece of toast, fighting against zombies, which are in this case slabs of butter. I know it sounds strange, but it's a lot of fun.
Now we get on to our creative artistic presentations. Uh, this is Disneyland Resort Haunted Mansion by the Army of Doss and collaborators. Um, this is a recreation of the Disney theme park ride. Um, as a result, I have to mute the, the clip uh, for fear of uh, some copyright issues. So um, I recommend you go in and look. It's really good if you've been to the Haunted Mansion and you know what to expect. You can see how close they've managed to get this recreation. But it's also good if you've never even been and just want to see what it's like. Now, I don't normally put my own things into these collections, but this was so close to the theme, I felt that I had to include it. Uh, I made this for the Dreams Have Meanings uh, Sunday live stream, and um, it is a recreation of the Haunted House board game uh, from the um, late 70s uh, through the 80s. And um, I tried to make this look uh, as similar as I possibly could to the actual game. I took a few liberties here and there, but uh, uh, I was really pleased with the result. It's one of the earliest uh, realistic type things that I made in Dreams. I hope you enjoy it and it gives you a bit of a, a nostalgia kick. Another fan make. This is Sirius Black's family home, 12 Grimald Place. Uh, this is um, the typical haunted house in the books. Uh, it's haunted by the ghost of Dumbledore at one point. So if you're familiar with the way this looks in the movies or just from the books, uh, then this will really impress you. Uh, Jedi Master 369 has done a lot of the sets from the Harry Potter movies and also other rooms which he has imagined himself from reading the books. And they're all really, really excellent. So I recommend you check out 12 Grimald Place. Castle Dreams with Prologue is a VR compatible walking sim by Martin Nibelong, otherwise known as Martini TYDK. Um, this was uh, originally a series of uh, short scenes of uh, houses, ex exteriors and interiors and they've been put together to create a cohesive little story um, which uses some um, really great animations and special effects to create uh, an amazing haunted house. Spooky Hut is a creation by M. Bergs. It's a, a very short presentation of a house design which was made during early access. Uh, it's beautifully lit, really atmospheric, and is uh, shaped like a witch's hat on the roof. Uh, I liked it so much and it was available as a remixable object, so I took it apart so that um, you've got access to the steps the walls, the roof, the chimney and that sort of thing so you can put it together uh, and make your own uh, properties in this style. My music choice this month is Haunted Spaceship Hard Trance Dark Ambient by Warman7785. Uh, this was made in July this year and I will be playing this while we look at the assets.
Well, that's it for this month's Dreams Crate. Don't forget, this is an exclusive collection. You won't be able to find this in the Dreamiverse unless you have the link, which is in the description below because it's unlisted. So this is an exclusive collection just for this channel. As always, if you like anything that you've seen here, please let the creators know by liking their items and then maybe leaving them a comment. I also appreciate comments on my videos and if anybody's got any suggestions for future Dreams Crate themes or if you want to talk about anything inside the October collection, then please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Dreams content. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in your dreams.